Welcome back, gang. Did you like that ad break? Because I didn't. Fuck that Rebel Wilson show. <laughs> <laughs> that is the opposite shit. of what an ad is supposed to do. What, what he meant to say was she's kooky, talented, and funny. Quirky. <laughs> Quirky. <laughs> Dude, do you, think, you don't think she's funny at all? She sometimes cracks funny jokes. Rebel Wilson? Yeah. I don't know enough about her career. All I know is that every time I ever see a show that is a cheap ripoff of Japanese television, I always just think, just put subtitles below it. It's cheaper. Do the same thing you did with Dragon Ball Z. And you've already got a series that works a lot longer. As we were just talking before, the show goes for 12 hours. It's called No Fun Allowed. I used to watch it all the time with the Dome Kang, actually. <laughs> and it'd just be all these Japanese comedians. And the thing is, let's be honest, Japanese comedians are funnier. They're are better they? than us. Because Wait, they go are to they like actually? These, is like, that a like, true statement? Comedy University Are you serious? And like, yeah, just the best comedians of them. But it's like an academic degree there. Are you serious? Yeah. So they've just got big posters of Bill Cosby being like, a very good man. No, I think that they <laughs> no, I think that they just be there and just be like, that man is most shameful and not for his sexual assault. Like they just be like, his, his jokes are bad. <laughs> they don't pay him at this Snoopy joke. I'm like, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised to know that um, Japanese comedians are funny because it's like I'm, as in I'm not, and I'm the one. Yeah, I'm the one. Man. No, because it's because dude, like <laughs> I what was that was that your impression of Baz Luhrmann? What is that? Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> that was like a Greens mum. But anyway, uh, actually, I've just come on. I, I think it's time. I'm telling the story. Go on. What story? Oh, uh, no, you go on. Yeah, with it yours. is a good story though. What? No, but you. We're at an impasse I? here. I think I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, well, I, I was essentially saying I spent like a guys year in, in the Malaysia. Comments, if we get an additional twenty subs, yes, I'll tell the Baz Luhrmann story. And trust me, oh, you want it to is worth it. Story. Twenty subs or bust. Oh, forty man. subs. Oh, wait, I'm Jordan, telling you the bonus you sure? story of Baz Luhrmann that is even better. No, you're not. You're gonna get in trouble with two, with your girlfriend again. Worth it. Who cares? Worth it. The we had to take off the pod. The frostiness, huh? We had to take off the pod last time when this happened. <laughs> two, <laughs> we're up two, to two. Keep it coming. I You're assume. gonna this thirty-eight to go. Uh, get me in trouble. If get that Jordy's in trouble. <laughs> Come on. He's not gonna. It, the, the episode's gonna get canned because I know what's headed. <laughs> Anyways, we're <laughs> gonna get canned. <laughs> they can't. It's live. Yeah, exactly. Can't uh, I think the internet is broken. Your own adventure, i.e., give us money. I think they <laughs> broke the internet. All I've got's the loading circle. You guys broke the net. I think you broke net. your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, they broke the net. That's the more plausible. All right, okay. Can we let's move on to our first segment of the day, which is gonna redeem my reputation because this is, I think, <sighs> the greatest game ever. Here we go. I'm going to say. You the last game was the greatest game ever. Well, and I'll be honest, it was last it was, week. It was really fun. I liked it. It was last week. And this time, this is the greatest game ever. But before I get into the game, let's talk about the prizes and the punishments. Another Pakistani torture ritual on the cards. Eee! Okay. So if you win, if you guys win, you actually get two prizes. It One scares me how much effort you put into this. Is Flaming Hot Cheetos. Damn, huge there you fan. Go. Standard, very standard, big fan. but good. also very good. <sighs> I and don't know why they cost ten dollars, but because they're from the states. Fresh Queensland strawberries. Mm. Both are prizes for the winner. <laughs> I don't know why those are prizes. <laughs> <laughs> it's because both of them were on I special like calls. Just going now, to Woolworths. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was both of them were like really on special shit Woolworths items. Now, now hold up. You don't want to know. Do you want to know what the punishment is? So you better fucking win this game. Yeah, I mean, no, I don't want to know. All right, guys, guys, check this out. The loser of the game will have to get his shins waxed. This oh, is which one's the punishment? <laughs> <laughs> wait, is it, is, wait, isn't it supposed to hurt? What? Yeah, it is supposed to hurt. It's supposed to hurt. I right? like that feeling. <laughs> Are you serious? Can He's I, a gay can man. I just, can, I, can I wax the snail trail though? Because I, I do use those all the time. Uh, what? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> show me your shin. Some, show me your shin right some, now. No, not, not, I, don't show, I don't do my shins. Yeah, that that's going to hurt. That's going to grow back worse. Because apparently Look shin me. is the Look place where it's... keep a willy hair. Yeah. Huh? Apparently face and shin is the place where it hurts the most. Um, <sighs> so I'm going to go for shin because he doesn't have a beard. Because it wouldn't matter otherwise. <gasps> Good, but if Miss Love loses, if Miss I'm not Love, doing no, that. it's, it's, it's going to be Shin. It's going to be Shin. Dude. But you can't lose as always because you're the game master. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we are we ready for the game? 
We're ready. The All right, but guys game... in the comments, just tell us. Uh, My comments are broken, but that's probably for the best. Do you agree <clears> with <throat> this new rule? Ali has to bear the brunt of the pain as well. No, wait. <laughs> okay, fine. If you think... I'm going to fucking put myself in a hole here. <laughs> but Every time. If love... you think, and please be honest, Bless if you, you think I failed with this game and this was a stupid game... Then you may request and I'll consider if I'm part of the punishment or not. But if you think that the game was fine, then I shouldn't, I don't deserve it. Hey team, keep an eye on the subs, yeah? Yeah, I think we're at, some people saying another two left, but I counted 16. 16? We're already at 16, 16 we're, oh, subs. Man, this order's going to get canned, I know. No, it's not. Well, no, it is. There's only four to what? go. And then oh, the Twitch stream will Dude, cut out. Dude, because this happened last time. He told, he made the <laughs> entire podcast that story. And then he called, oh, my girlfriend's getting mad at me. Is uh, that going to happen? Can't really yeah, it's going to happen. Oh, for... F oh, th well, this, this whole boomerang stunch flying boomeranged on us. No, but the first one, the first one at the 20 sub mark. And guys, this is fine. There's been about two minutes since we announced that. So... <laughs> Go to get in the All right, <laughs> twenty-two <Let's>, subs. <laughs> Who knows? Let's push but the on. Thing All right, is the well, first one won't get us in trouble. The second one definitely will. Okay. Oh well, this, uh, we'll be fine then. We won't hit forty. We better not hit forty. <laughs> Don't sub to forty. <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> Discouraging <laughs> subs. Uh, All good up until like thirty-five. I really then thirty-nine subs. Then pump the yeah, thirty-nine subs. Then Wait, pump did you the brakes. Twenty or forty. For, 20, 20 for the for first the, story, 40 for the second. I really hope it doesn't reach 40. We've hit 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I've never been more proud. Of but you need to be careful when you're telling the story because this not is all coming one, down. I like, I don't care if there's a breakup as a consequence. Mm. You need to be careful. <laughs> all right. Oh, so. No, no. The, we've got to tell the story, don't we? Oh, okay. Fine. Go for it. Let's we'll go back to the game. Story first. Anyway. Uh, I know a dude. Who knows Baz? Lerman, that is. <laughs> Bazza. Bazza, yes, as he clearly likes to be known. A guy from Bronte that made Strictly Ballroom. Ooh. Clearly loves Bazza. Hey, he, uh, Romeo well, and Juliet. Let's not sell him short. I, and really, the great I, I'm Gatsby. sorry, it's like, it's Are we one going of the crazy here? <laughs> three things that rub me about you <laughs> is the fact that that is one of your top 10 films of all time. It's just been like, oh, Romeo and Juliet, except for modern. And by modern, I mean 1997. <laughs> <laughs> Which to miss love is modern. Let's be, dude, he thought yeah, ancient Rome was modern. <laughs> last day, yeah. It just came out. <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, anyway, so he goes, he goes to Bez's house. Uh, he walks into his mansion in Hollywood or whatever and says, Baz, we've got a meeting. We've got to go uh, to the, to the uh, butler that he had. And his butler was saying like, oh, I'm sorry, you can't go see Baz today. He's very sick. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is an important meeting. And he was just like, don't go up there. And he just pushed the butler out of the side. He was like, sir, sir. He goes up. And then there's Baz Luhrmann in his huge room that you could imagine what Baz Luhrmann's room is going to be like, right? Yeah. It's just like like rose petals there for no reason. Yeah, yeah, He's got yeah. no one over, just yeah. all draped around the place. <laughs> he goes in and he says, Baz, get up. We've got to go. Baz Luhrmann says, go away. And he says, no, we're, we're leaving. This is an important film. Like we're talking to Miramax or whatever. And he's just like, I'll do it another day. Just leave. And then he just goes, that's it. He runs up. <laughs> He pulls the sheets off of his head because he's got them draped over that. <laughs> and he just had uh, he just had like some plastic surgery or something like that. And then he turns to him and he goes, I'm hideous, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, Amory Drew just did the last thing to get us to 40. He gifted 10 subs. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. Oh. We're up to 30. Are you? 40. Oh, we're already at 40. Wait, how, do you, wait, wait, wait. how do you gift subs? I, I, knew I, I knew I had a problem with Jews. <laughs> wait a sec. Are they bots? Uh, are they gifting bots? No. Well, yeah. They're, gift, they're gifting sub, subscriptions to other people. To other people. <laughs> oh, so he's buying <laughs> subscriptions for other people. What a wild world we live <laughs> and, in. And just to preface this, I told this story to uh, Connor, the editor. And I said, it's about Baz Luhrmann. And he said, oh, I hate Baz Luhrmann. After this story, his words immediately after was, I love Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess you're doing the second story too now. We've hit 40. Gifted 10. What a time to be alive. So anyway, like they, they were... Uh... <laughs> 
Sorry. What happened? Just like Miss Love's comment was just like, give to 10, what a time to be alive. <laughs> <That's just too laughs> Dang. Gift uh, data. Miss <laughs> Love is. Dude, he's having a mental <laughs> breakdown. He's going. He's, he's going to spontaneously combust any second now. Gift I, it's data. Like a caveman into the future. Isn't it? <laughs> All right, go on with your story. So it was the second, second. Yeah, so uh, he was uh, training friends with uh, Baz Luhrmann and they'd get up at 6 a.m. every day with this personal trainer in L.A. and they'd run tracks and whatever. Anyway, one day when he was running along, he was just tustling behind being like, oh, oh, it's all so hard and like just <laughs> way behind the rest of it. And then... <laughs> It's like 6 a.m. in the morning and he just gets down on the ground and just like breaks down into tears. And so the personal trainer and he come back and they're just like, come on, Baz, this is just the pain, pain threshold. You know, like you get over this, this happens all the time, it's fine. And he's just like, it's got nothing to do with that. Just go on without me. And then they're just like, what, well, what's the matter, Baz? Like, why are you throwing a tantrum about running? He's like, it's not, it's not about the running. And they said, why are you crying? And his response was, quote, I can't decide if I'm a genius. Or a fraud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, let's answer that for him. You're a fraud, cut. All right. he, he, but that's the best part. We all know the answer. Uh, but I didn't know he had like such a colorful pers personality. I like him now. Yeah, yes, too. I, I really kind of like didn't give a fuck. I not before. like that. You no. can't not like that. I story. really wish the Truman Show was about him. Yeah, yeah. I forgive the Great Gatsby now. Okay, um, yeah, Leo. Go away. <laughs> I like how most of his life seems to be him just being like, just leave me alone. <laughs> all right. Well, we we may as well go on a bathroom break now. But when we come back from this break. We uh, we'll talk we, about that chick again from that show that we yeah, we don't like Rebel Wilson. No, yeah, more on Rebel when we're back. We wanna we wanna get your comments on Jordan's story. Was it worth the forty subscriptions or was it a con? Yeah. After the bathroom break. Welcome back to the show, uh, where we've been on air for probably about an hour at this point and haven't even gotten to the first segment. So I think it's time that we actually did that. Don't you agree? Well, Ali? the segment is just basically a. I'm, I'm trying to redeem myself here. So you got to engage in this game. I call this game, help, I don't want to be beautiful. It's because, like, you don't want to get waxed. Because uh, the punishment is waxed. If you okay. just joined, that's the thing. It's a working title. You guys can help me with it. But the game is good. All right, so here's... This is the title. It's not a bad title. All right, so far you're doing all right. Here are the rules. I can't wait for this. Each of you... <laughs> is it a, wait, is it a game of scissors, paper, rock again? Uh, there can be, but I'll leave that <laughs> up to you. So, each of Nods you approving. will be asked, listen to this, because right, so. you don't want to get waxed. All right. I know. Each of you will be asked four questions. Right. Four questions from you, four questions from you. moi. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll get to all of that. If you answer correctly, each of them have points. Yeah. Every correct answer has a point. When all eight questions are done, whoever has more points wins the game. That's simple. Right. Make sense? So basically, we just it's need a, trivia just a game. quiz. We just need a BA for this one, not a master's. Like the yeah, last well, one. the master bit's coming now. So that's the basic premise right, of the right. game, right? Right, okay. Yeah. That was a very quick graduation. There are four <laughs> categories. There are four categories of topics you can choose from. All right. Each category has points. And the higher the points, the more difficult the question will be. So the first category is Simpsons Trivia for 200 points. This is the basic, the most easy category. The second category is I'm Australian, I should know this. 300 points. Okay. Second category. Third category is I heart Adam Sandler. <laughs> I'm liking this. 400 points. <laughs> and then the fourth and last category is which philosopher said this? 500 points. All now, right. here, here's it's another rule. quiz off it is. Now, here, yeah. here's another You're gonna rule. You're going to win though. Here's no, another. No, no. You got to listen to this before you decide on any strategy. If... A what? category has been chosen two times. Wait one second. Wait, what, what are you, what's laughing? you laughing at? Your fucking rules. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Now, here are the rules. Uh, now, okay, listen. One, one last point. 
Ah. It's already paying me. Just, this it's game is going to be the true. greatest game of all time, I'm telling you. So, uh, now there's one last bit before I get into the question. Is it true or false? <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, <laughs> if a category, let's say Simpsons trivia, yeah. has been asked twice, mm -hmm. either by the same person or by one each, then that category has been exhausted and you have to choose another one. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the entire game. So I'll repeat the categories once again so that you can choose from. Now, the rock, paper, scissor is... <laughs> it wants, actually is rock, paper, scissors. Who wants to go first? You can choose to... This is the same fucking game. No, it's not. It's a different game. I know right, fine. It is. No, 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 rock, paper, scissors. There's, There's way rock, more paper, scissors. rules now. Well, no. <laughs> no rock, no, no, no. paper, scissors. I'm no. happy to do... No, rock. here's the thing. You, you, you suffer. Jordan, you get to go first. No rock, paper, scissors. No, I want, no, 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 no. I want the rock, paper, scissors. All right, well, then do it's it. too late. No, no, no. Do it. No. Scissor, paper, rock. Do it. All right, I'm choosing rock. <laughs> Why? <laughs> scissor, paper, rock. Fuck! Oh, uh, Jordan lost again. <laughs> You can't oh outsmart me. You can't outsmart me with that shit. All right, so would you want to go first or would you want Jordan to go first? Whatever's more adv advantageous. I think going first would be more well, advantageous. Suck it to me. All right, so now the categories, I'll repeat again. Simpsons trivia for 200 points. I'm Australian, I should know this for 300 points. Fuck. I heart Adam Sandler 400 points. Which philosopher said this? 500 points. So which one do you choose So first? with the question, mm -hmm. if I get it wrong, do you throw it to Jimmy's or no? Uh, No. He gets a different one. Give From the, the same category. You can choose the yeah, same category, but a different one. Give me The Simpsons, because that's, oh, that's the best chance I've got. Okay. So this is the, the easiest category. What's the name <clears throat> of uh, The Simpsons' pet dog? Santa's Little Helper. Bing, bing. That's 200 points. <laughs> right, okay. Easiest, easiest one. Now, that is a lot of points. <laughs> that is a lot of points. 200 points. All right, so you get How exciting would soccer be if that was the score? Can I get the audience? Can I get the audience to just keep a track if I'm calculating the points right at the end? <laughs> it's just I'll, I'm doing it in my head, but I'm right, just saying, okay. just in case I get wrong. So you turn the entire audience into an umpire. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah, good like, idea. Audience, keep... keep. Yeah, uh, keep the count of who's getting how many points, all right? Not audience, MLKs. We well, just assume that you're wearing that AFL hat. Put on zinc now. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Mm. All right, Jordan. So, which category would you choose? Do you want me to repeat the categories or do you Simpsons. remember them? Simpsons. All right. Um, what's the name of the retirement home where Grandpa Simpson lives? Okay, well, that's nowhere near as easy as the dog's name. So. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't know. Every yet. time there's... <laughs> Every time there's a scene with Grandpa Simpson, no, no, they show the name of the place. Time Every time. Castle View. Yeah, you were actually, you're actually like pretty correct. Like I'll tell you, it's Castle Retirement Home. Uh, Holy hell. That's it's not just subconsciously point. seeped into me. I've never noticed so that. That's half points, surely. No, All right, I'll give me a hundred points for it. He didn't get audience, the full I'll thing. switch it over to you. What should I get for that? Okay, well, I'm going to have to like... Yeah, audience. What saying now. Does he... Just, just, just no, no, no. Let me... I'll, I'll be the official judge yeah, of that. Yeah, they 100% yeah. agree with me. 200 points. Liar. All right. Okay, fine. 200... He's lying! Look, we'll, we'll give you 200 points for it. So oh, now, oh, just so you know, Simpsons trivia has been exhausted. And you still have three questions each. All so, right. Give him the... Miss Love. Points. Zero what, points. Not right. Miss Love, what category would you choose? Rigged. Miss Love. Pay attention. What no. category? What category would you want to choose next? Uh, you want to repeat them, or do you remember them? Yeah, I remember. No, repeat them. Repeat them. I'm Australian. I should know this for three hundred. I heart Adam Sandler for four hundred. Which philosopher said this for five hundred? All right, I'm Adam Sandler and philosophers in the same category, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam Sandler is the greatest philosopher yeah. of all time. Australian or Adam Sandler? I'm gonna go. Uh... They're all going to be exhausted at some point, aren't they? We have to do them all anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yes. What did you say? Repeat what you just shared? Yeah. All right, Baz. The new that. official way of saying yes on this podcast. <laughs> Thanks, Baz. For no reason. <laughs> That's Baz. No, if it was That's Baz, Baz. it would just be like, yes. Uh, just give me, uh, give me Adam Sandler, fuck it. All right, okay. Fine. Jesus. What? Go on the distance, miss. Uh, okay, so he chose the philosopher category. <laughs> he did. I'm not going to get this. In the movie, Waterboy. Uh, have you seen it? A long time ago. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, you might get it because there's options in this one. Why are you so happy? Uh, in the movie, Waterboy, what is Adam Sandler's character's name? I can give you... Th this question comes with options. Good. Is it confident A? confident lean back in that chair. 
Because he knows. It can't that go back. Because you've seen it, you know the name. So yeah. I technically shouldn't even be giving you these options, but I am. into a lazy boy. Yeah. <laughs> is it A, Lenny Fedder? Is it B, Bobby Boucher? Is it C, Robbie Hart? Or is it D, Marvin? B. Bobby Boucher? Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> That's 300 Ugh, points. There's so, no coming back from that. Suck it Everyone that's me. keeping a tally, so Miss hey, Love now is at 500. Yeah. All right, Jordan, what category would you like to choose? Give me you, the philosopher one. Damn, Ooh. real balls. Ooh, going yeah, for the yeah, big yeah. big one. But pretty much, unless the philosopher is Sargon of a card, I'm not going to know. <laughs> uh, you get no options, you get options with your philosopher. <laughs> you would love Sargon of a card. I'm pretty sure you are Sargon of a card. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's basically you, except for replace like salted meats are awesome with just like I really like the British flag. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> speaks to me. With with a British name like Sergeant Avakan, I can't go wrong with that. And that is his name. All right, did you get points for that? <laughs> no. Partial credit? <laughs> yeah. No. Which philosopher said this? Opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance. Is it A. Oh. Aristotle? Is it B. J.P. Sartre, is it C. Plato, or is it D. Karl Marx? Which philosopher said this? Opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance. B. John Paul Sartre. Yeah. You are unfortunately incorrect on this. Was it Marx? It was yeah, Plato. I'm sure you're very upset oh. about that. Aren't you? It was. It was Plato. <laughs> hey, Marx isn't a philosopher. So anyway. Jordan it's the same is person. Come on. Jordan's at two hundred. Miss Love's at five. Seven hundred. <laughs> All right, Miss Love, what's your your like halfway point now? So what's your what's what category would you like to choose? Uh, can, so which ones can I choose? You can choose uh, anyone, uh, any category except for Simpsons trivia. So you can choose I'm Australian, I should know this. Uh, I heart Adam Sandler, or which philosopher said this? Ooh, that is a tough one. Um, Don't give Miss Love options; it'll just be the entire Twitch. <laughs> give something. Each question, some give questions. Me Australia. Okay, uh, I'm Australian, I should, I should know this. I shouldn't have done that, but yeah, go on. Yeah, because you are a Chechenian freedom fighter. I know. That's why. Where I is the big prawn? Oh, fuck. No like, options. Like what state? Uh, I think we're going to have to be a little more No, I think slightly specific. more. Like what city is it in? What town is it in? You should know this. Coffs Harbour? <laughs> you are unfortunately incorrect. Fuck. It turns out it's in Ballina, New South Wales. Shout out to everyone. Oh, uh, screw Ballina. Move it. All right. So <laughs> you Chip. are still at 500 and you, sir, are still at 200. Right. What category would you like to choose? Uh, give me the Australian one. Okay. I'm Australian. I should know this. Yep. Uh, true or false, Carl Stefanovic has never won a gold Logie. <laughs> False. I think it's you are correct. He did win it in 2011. Do yeah. you want to hear who the nominations were alongside Carl? Um, you know what? I know the audience doesn't, but I do. <laughs> I'm very interested in that. Because funnily, I don't know any of them. Mm. Um, there is someone called Jessica Murray's, Asher Ketty, Adam Hills, Rebecca Gibney, and Chrissy Swan. That was Jesus. 2011 for I can consider myself an aficionado when it comes to crap Australian celebrities, and I only know two of those crap Really? Which ones do you know? I, just, I like, know Adam Asher Hills. Ketty. Who's Asher Ketty? Wasn't he like a contestant on The Voice or something at some point? Oh, Offspring. Is she the oh, blonde girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, She's I like, have stories yeah. about her. Yeah. Get us to 100 subscribers. <laughs> 100. 100 subscribers. Actually, I don't think you can tell nah, that. No, 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 no. I'm not telling that story. That, yeah, you, that don't think you can tell that. <laughs> no. All right. So that was for 300. You're both at 500, even right. Steven. Hmm? Uh, you're both at 500 points. Yeah. Now, um, the insane. Australian category has also been exhausted. So, Miss Love. No, wait. Sorry. Australian category has. Uh, yeah, also been exhausted, unfortunately. So, Miss Love, yeah. which one is it? Jesus, I feel like I this is Senate hearing. I heard, yeah, this is C-SPAN. <laughs> C-SPAN. But, okay, whatever. Obviously, Adam Sandler. Okay, I heart Adam Sandler for 400 points. Yeah. In which Adam Sandler movie does his character have a special love for hummus? Oh, oh what the hell? Don't mess with the Zohan. 
You are correct. <laughs> that is another 400. So you're I'll at a whopping 900 points now. <laughs> Sucked in. Fuck. All right, Jordan. So Dude, you I like winning more than losing. I've learned something. To, <laughs> it's really yeah, bad all, being on the back foot in this. We game. all learn something. Yeah, this is the only time in your life that's like you cop anything. Hey, <laughs> every yeah, other time it's true, like true. always winning. But the games you're like, no. It is true. Yeah, like Noughts and Crosses game that was very infamous. All right, Jordan. I oh, think yeah. the only uh, option that's left for you now is which philosopher said. This mm -hmm. again. Um, Come on, something to Tony Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Philosopher, hell yeah. Yeah, it's like if you are not blank in life, then are you blank? Yeah. Winning, correct. <laughs> yes. I have a feeling it's going to go. What philosopher was in shallow hell? <laughs> <laughs> in the movie Shallow Hell, Jack Black, partial credit. <laughs> In the movie Shallow Hell. Yeah. Go on. That's what I ended with the question. <laughs> reason. All right. Reason yeah. has always existed, but not in a reasonable form. Which philosopher said this? There are options available. Wow. A quote I've never heard in my life. Reason has always existed, but not in a reasonable form. Uh -huh. Was it A, Aristotle? It's always Aristotle A. Was it B, John Paul Sartre? Was it C, Plato? Or was it D. Karl Marx? Do you realize if you get this wrong, you lose this match? <laughs> Wait a sec. Read the quote again. Read I'm the not quote good again. at maths. I didn't Reason know. has always existed, but not in a reasonable form. Is so it A. Douchey. Aristotle? Is it? That'll you give you a hint. Is it uh, B. J. P. Sartre? Is it C. Plato? Or is it D. Karl Marx? Who's the most douchey out of them? Well, the people that are the most douchey that like them is Karl Marx, so I'm going to go with him. Even though he's, He doesn't sound like something he'd say, though. Look at me. <sighs> Tell me when you're ready to lock in your answer. All right, well, in the interest of time of getting onto anything else in this Twitch stream, I'm going to say Karl Marx, even though I'm certain that that's not the answer, so I don't know why I'm doing in that. In a grand turn are. of events, yeah. Jordan Shanks... Is correct. Holy it was shit. indeed Karl Marx. I gave him that clue. I said do Which me? Yeah, you did. Fuck. Which me? Yes, your own you psychic lose. ability. Are you, you get fucking get serious? Am I get wet? Am I getting the points wrong or are they tied? Like the North Tell me. Shore mum, you are me. So I think Miss Love loses, right? Unbelievable. I'm gonna confirm because if not, you. there's a sudden death that we'll get over with. No, 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 no. You. It's very simple maths. Why did I help you? Oh, apparently it's 1,000, 1,000. You guys tied. There is a sudden death question. Oh, all right, what's the sudden I prepared Thank for God. this. Am I, because I'm just, yeah, it is 1,000. No, Jordy's. Dude, why is everyone saying a different thing? I like this. Let me see events. It's 1,000 points. What's the tiebreaker? I, I think it's 1,000. How does he win? I was beating him a second ago. Can you, well, can you know, like, I know that Twitch is like a low bar for entertainment, but like people just like double checking a calculator. I think we can do a bit better than yeah, that. Yeah, let's just move let's, on. 1K, let's oh, you guys, you guys tied. Okay, so. This is this is the sudden death question. Oh, Quick. Fuck. What is it now? What Last happened? question. What? Okay. <laughs> so, what year was David Koshy born? Who answers? Now, it? listen. Th th sudden death is not like you don't have to guess what date oh, okay. was it. But you both come up with a year. Or uh, in fact, like if you come up with the same year, then you come up with like a month as well. Whoever is closer wins it. Mm -hmm. What year was David Koshy born? Do we, uh Okay, let me think. I don't know. Let me think. I'm going to say 1950. I'm going to say... Uh, don't say 1951. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to say... 1949. <sighs> let me think. I need to think. Let me think. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Because <laughs> I'm calculating. How are you calculating? Shut up! What do you, wait, shut up! Were you his doctor? What? Shut up. How do you know? What What are you calculating? You've never calculated. He's not. He's using his shinning. He's just... <laughs> <he's> what is... <laughs> what are you... Why are you, what are you figures? Figures? counting on your finger? What is the figure? I'm going to say... I'm going to say 1960. You said 1950. 50. And you said 1960. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a winner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Koshi was born on the 7th of March. Uh, the 1956. He oh! by one. He beats you by one. Eat it. 
Eat oh, it! All right! Stop not eating it! You're the one that gets to eat it. I have to get Well, yeah, you, you get the strawberries and Cheetos, and Jordan gets some waxing done. So everybody wins. Dude, that was fucking close. All right, come on. Can we open the Cheetos? Get it onto old Gertie here. Dude. I am a smart motherfucker. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Why? Because I beat your ass. Well, okay, you, you have to tell me. No, MLK. Why, why were you counting in your fingers? Because I went like this. Yeah. You said 50, right? Yeah. I wasn't going to guess. I wasn't going to guess. So I went, okay, I'm thinking more 60. More 60. Oh. So, then I, <laughs> so then I went, okay, he was born in 1960. 70, 80, 90. Like, you know, six, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Like 70, 80, 90. Like. 60, 70, 80, 90, now 10, 20, 60. Jeez. That's 60 years old till this year. And he's around about 60, maybe just over 60. All right. Very sorry I asked. Now, <laughs> let's move on to... <laughs> just for that, I'm done. Just for, just for that comment, I'm giving him an extra one. <laughs> oh, there's, there's two All right. in this. Both Whatever. Chins are, both chins are going. Wait, there's two? <laughs> yeah, there's two. Oh, Apparently, okay. look, right. I don't know any girls watching this. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. Apparently, you should There's no girls this. watching. <laughs> <laughs> On Twitch, ever. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sure, get... uh, Miss Love, do you want to do it? Yeah. Do yeah, I'll do it. And then I don't know. You rub it. Yeah, you rub it real hard. Uh, no, you do it, Ali. You're the ta you're the taskmaster. You gotta rub it till it's really hot. Ooh, he's got thick hair. Yes, I do. Dang. I think this is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. But I think Jordan likes this, so I think it's like gonna be less. Uh, like, I think Jordan's just going to be like, ooh, do the whole leg. Miss Love, just because this is happening doesn't mean that you get to start looking at um, your Instagram pages that you follow. Is that what you're doing? I'm on the chat. <laughs> That's basically the same thing. Get off it. Come on. No, I want to see what they're saying. What? what so you're not going to pay attention to the own podcast that you're in? You're that <laughs> no, I'm doing bored. both. Oh. Well, okay. Well, that's going to hurt more than the waxing. So thank you for that. <laughs> and you're doing How about we do one each? All right. Let's do, you want to do one each? Yep. Yeah, okay. Hey, have we got a good shot here, guys? Let's make sure we you get like a good this. Shot. Okay, wait one second. Let, no, 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 I'm just, let's, no, 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 no. Let's just let it cement for a second so that it hurts. Yeah, I don't know if that works. I don't know if. Yeah, I think it's just once it's on, it's on, Ali. Okay. Fine. Oh, and also from bottom up or no, no, down? both do it at the same time. Come on. Okay. Ready, Ali? I don't know if you did this right. Well, if the hair doesn't come off, we're doing it again. No, that's we're not doing we that. We don't know how to do. Okay. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm hurting you for fuck's sake. Yeah, but you. Supposed to lift like it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the bottom. No, I'm doing up. the other way. No, no from bottom no, up. It hurts more. Uh, All right. You count down. Okay, count no, down. No, no, no. Miss Love. What? Why say? What is this? A fucking like beautician <laughs> course? No, he's right though. <laughs> but you're supposed to lift it up like this. All right. With, all right. with your whole hand, not just a thumb. And he goes back to the thumb. The thumb's sleeping. working. No. Well, you, you, you don't. You like don't my hands are too big for that. that. Yeah, do, do whatever you want. Just make sure it hurts. All right, ready? Three, all right. two. Who's, who's, wait, one. wait, wait. Who's counting down? You can count. You can. Three, two, one. For the subs! Ah! Oh, gross! Now this is content. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go to Holy shit, this shit Smooth works. This is a baby's butter, man. Dang. Look out, dude. How much? How much uh, is it? Just an example of who's prolific at life. To quote Venus, she's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. Oh, look that, at that. Did that actually hurt? Come on, be real. Huh? Did that actually hurt? Not yours. Miss Love's hurt. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> look at it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Dude, I, I did like I can be a professional. That's a good. That's a clean strip. Yeah, no, I'm very uh, happy with that, Ali. <laughs> Thank you for making me look beautiful. Yeah. yeah well, the game was called <laughs> Don't a, make a new trend. Huh? Are you happy that? Are you happy with my effort? No, not at all. <laughs> did it hurt? Yes. Yeah, it really, really, really did. <laughs> Dude. Um. I, so yeah. And I won by one year. Fuck. And otherwise, it could have been reversed. Mm -hmm. It was so. It was yeah, actually very close. Oh, now shit. the consensus. God, before before we move on to anything of substance, do I get to stay in this country or what? Let's I think I win. Them. What are they saying? All right, let's find out. Mm, let's. I think we've had enough interaction with them. I so. think we win. <laughs> you want to cut them off? <laughs> Jordan's over the. Stop MLK. getting needy. Here we go. 
I don't know if my expectation was low, but I enjoyed the game. Yeah. There you go. Right. I think that's a win for me. Ollie wins. Okay, so it's like going to see Spy Kids <laughs> at the movies. <laughs> Toki. <laughs> Toki. Oh, dude, he didn't say it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Toki says I would have preferred waterboarding. That's next week. Should right. we try it? Waterboarding. I'll give it a go. I'll try it. I want to see what it's like. Apparently, like, it's not going to kill you. So it's like yeah. the best torture to practice on someone. It can't kill you? No, no, no. Because like... It's You're just, not actually drowning, right? So it's just, just like feel a, like yeah, you are. yeah, bit of fun, isn't it? Um, yeah, we can we can give that a go next time. We might have to do that. Uh, Tell now, us. <laughs> imagine if that was a ride at Wet and Wild, the Iran ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, what? Your um, Christo Pepito just sent me a message of like. Um, Wait, we're not supposed to. <laughs> He won't be happy we said that. Well, but like, but but it's kind of it's like it's a cool story. Sorry, it's just like in the middle of the pod. But apparently, Koala Killer is trending right now. Why? On number twelve. Why is it trending? Who knows? Oh no, that's why I know why because Jody McKay just released the inquiry that they put into New South Wales about the de- huge decline in koala populations. So Wait, well, what's this inquiry? I missed it. Well, let, let's let's make that the segment because I missed this inquiry at all. What's, what's yeah, happening? actually, deep dive into the yacht. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to gather any other pieces. Of <laughs> that's, that that that's all you have. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Look, no, look. They obviously, uh, because they're actually concerned about wildlife in the slightest. Notice that the uh, extinction clock for koalas after the bushfires was brought forward by decades. So they're doing an inquiry into what should be the path forward to saving populations of koalas in New South Wales, what little left there is of them anyway. Um, And so they've released their findings today and basically, obviously, it's going to be extremely scathing of koala killer. I think that is why that is trending at the moment. So, gang... While I've all got you here, can you just put hashtag koala killer under your uh, Twitter account just to push that up further? Because it's yeah. working. Yeah, I know it is for a fact right now. that the New South Wales liberals are scared of that name. Really? Because it's dogging her. It is I think it could be like it her. could be like You know when the Telegraph yeah, released that like is friendly Geordie's a racist video? You know what happened? Hundreds of people just started putting underneath it hashtag koala killer until they were forced to take it down. The system works. The system works. <laughs> That's the system. The <laughs> system so is bullying. Yeah, pretty much. Well, <laughs> a profound point if you really Dude, think. Dude, sometimes about. you got to like um you, you got to treat a bully like a bully. Exactly. And uh and yeah, that's so well, how come no one gives a shit about like other animals besides koalas? They do. It's just, I do. I think it's just the, it's just, sim- uh, the, it's the symbol it's of iconic. the koala. It's exactly it's like what you're talking slow, about. It's just like also really slow. So like yeah, it's just an iconic uh, you know, <laughs> That and kangaroos. The mislove of yeah, because like no one gives a shit about kingdom. kangaroos. Huh? No they're one, cute. no one cares about kangaroos. Well, I they're mean, not in danger. If they were, they would be. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah. Instead, we eat them. I think that what'll Wait, just come out is the result will just be that we should be following Queensland's model, who you're going to vote out because you know one word from a Greens meme page of a Dani. But the, the thing is that the uh, Queensland Labor Party has released the most extensive koala protection program in the country. Um, and it's signed up by the Koala Foundation. Everybody just thinks that this is a game changer. This why one. is it endangered? Sorry, this is a dumb question, but why are koalas endangered? They uh, die. Because if your only food source is uh, eucalypts and you move in slow motion <laughs> and all of a sudden like... <laughs> Shout out, my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> brothers in arms. <laughs> uh, That's my Wouldn't that be awesome if just in the koala hospital It's just a photo of Miss Love with a bandage over his eye <laughs> It's like this just Chewing eucalyptus like nom, nom, I know Listening to Tame yeah, Impala They just, they just, all they just shrouded burnt? it in beef jerky <laughs> 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 Wait, are you saying like they all got burnt and that's what caused... Were they endangered before the bushfire? Yes. Okay. Yes, they were. Because of the massive land clearing program of the New South Wales Liberal government where they've increased land clearing by 1,300% in this state, that is a huge reason why koalas are endangered in New South Wales. And it is a direct result of her policy, ergo koala killer, and the press is freaking out about the fact that pe- more and more people keep calling her koala killer because it dogs her. Yeah, I There's saw that. There's no comeback to it's it. It's sick. Dude, also, sick. your latest video, I saw that. I'm a fan. 
that uh, thing where you shit on that talkback radio guy. Mm. Oh, mm. Marcus Prawn. It was funny so as. Good. <laughs> like, and particularly, you know that they're stressing when they start talking to a left winger about political correctness and how they're racist. They are shitting their yeah. pants. No, like the guy, that was there in case of emergency. Break yeah. this glass. They broke it, and the fire and dude, got Jordan, worse. You are so brutal sometimes, man. I saw that was a that was a, that I, I saw like a friendly joys video after some time, and that was it. Just made me. Was like dude you killed that guy <laughs> that guy you you that very was so brutal, brutal. very like i don't know how many and you know what today apparently he was on it 2sm was... just being like this friendly geordies is very rude and nasty <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was doing when... apparently yeah no uh, yeah he was like yeah we didn't listen to the whole program but like oh, right. he responded yeah because yeah. i was thinking that like dude you either kill yourself or you respond there's yeah. no there's no how good is this they're doing the whole thing of being like he took the bait look lion sink sinker mm. and uh you went not respond to him no not at all and it's like yeah. yeah, he tried to put that up on his Facebook page. He tried to put up, um, you got to you know, like, voice. yeah, yeah, just being like, voice. huh, got him, put that at the top of his Facebook and just pinned it to the top. And the first comment with like way more likes than his posts, like, yeah, 10 to 1 or whatever, is just a picture of a prawn. <laughs> <laughs> just going, <laughs> dude, I, you know what? <laughs> and then, dude, someone put underneath that Marcus Paul having a meeting with his staff, and it was just a prawn cocktail with five <laughs> prawns. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and then someone put next to his photo display picture of him just like uh, just in the front, just being like in the mornings with Marcus Paul. They just put right next to it that refugee from District Nine, that alien shrimp thing, being like. <laughs> <laughs> Because like he, because how big is his radio show? Because I I didn't know about Not it. Apparently yeah. they, they advertise this to the potential advertisers with an audience of eight thousand people, <laughs> and that's they don't know Wait, that that's either. Shit, that's right a for guess. like yeah for radio that's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. no, they Man. they did so bad. They've been doing so bad in the ratings for a decade that they just stopped counting them. But you know what? I think he just increased his ratings. Yeah. And yeah, I am waiting for the day when he becomes your subscriber because, dude. He already dude, would be. Like, AM radio be. must be just a desolate wasteland now that Alan Jones is off it. Can you imagine listening to Ben Ford? What about Lawsy? Yeah, Lawsy. Yeah, but John Laws is on at nine. So PM. breakfast is either shrimpy. or Ben Fordham. Those are your choices. Like mm. dumb Sam Harris. <laughs> or <laughs> Who's, is he or Mr. Crustacean? That's it. Huh? Oh, what did you just say, Miss Love? Just, Something smart, no doubt. I, <laughs> you want to give him his lip, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm giving you a lip. No, uh, <laughs> he, 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 like, it's funny because he's trying to uh, play the hand of, like, sort of like, well, uh, <laughs> Any publicity is good publicity, and he's not getting to us. The trolls, we don't care you about trolls. And it's somebody, like, and it's yeah, like, you know it, that somebody like, is actually really hurting when they're just being like, well, there's only one thing worse than being talked about, and that's not being talked about. Yeah. It's just and like, fine, nah, you feel bad. There's a fine line, and I think that's what's happened with like the net and the media now, where it's just like, any publicity is good publicity, and it's like, yes, to an extent. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? I, like, I like, 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 it's even, true, like, like, dude, even a couple of guys in Jackass really hate their lives because they have to put scorpions on their cocks. You know what I mean? There's always, uh, no. but they're doing it. Yeah. No. What I'm saying is, you're going to have to break this. Right, I'll break it down. This is more complicated than Ali's games. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind games. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. I think the audience agrees with you. They were good games. I get to stay in this country. In fact, you should go back to Croatia. That's what needs to happen from now He's on. He's only... Who, me? No, you. He's yeah. only half Croatian. They probably wouldn't... Yeah, uh, but like, you can, yeah. like... I mean, okay, fine. Split him in Cut half. Cut me in half. Put yeah, the half Scotland. to Scotland and yeah. half to Croatia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And, then and the just, Scottish half should be the top half in Scotland because I'm pretty sure that is most people there. Just, yeah. like, just a torso walking around in a wheelchair. I can imagine that's, like, and the it's, uh, <laughs> general... And the cock is uh, Croatian. And still, the hottest guy there. Well, uh, it should be... The arse should go to Scotland because they're all hot air. <laughs> yeah okay right fair <laughs> that was fair um yeah what were you saying before what i was saying was melting our minds what i was saying was, <laughs> yeah like i understand that like any publicity is good publicity but if it is just outright unadulterated persistent abuse that makes you want to kill yourself 
I'm dubious if that publicity is good. Yeah, true. So I'm not buying this shit. I mean, I'm not buying good. this shit. It can't be bad. Are you sure? I'm sure. So what if he's going to I think be- the only okay, example that I can think of, unless they suffered through like tall poppy syndrome where like they got so big that everyone started hating them, like basically like Walid Ali after winning the Logie. It's if you're talking about that, that sort of Stop makes sense. Defending Wale, <laughs> always saying, jumping to his that's defense. Sometimes when someone gets too much publicity or their their name is out there so much, there's a sweet spot. Like if you if you go beyond, if you become too famous, people start hating you. So is that what you're referring to? Because Dude, not everything is like geopolitics. I'm saying some people get butt hurt and kill themselves. Fact. Wait, what? What? Yes, yeah, still what again. Geopol- just what? a very no. Few back on this. All right. Okay, here, I'll, I'll spell it out to you. <laughs> the Sometimes in the media yeah. or in any public sector, yeah. Christ, some people that are called out and shamed feel bad. One example. That porn Who hasn't gained themselves. anything from? Dude, porn is a totally different thing. That like includes oh, sake, sex it, and human emotions, every, and that's a different like that's every, the rest. Geo, of, it's geo, It's always political. It's always it's just got like well, we have politics. to break it down. In, like, dude, we were talking about this today. Funnily enough, I'll throw, throw down like, ten bucks right now. The shrimpy's going to be hanging from the garage tonight. Who wants to throw, anyone to throw it down? Whoa! Too hot. All right. Too hot for. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I want ten dollars. I'll do it. Subs equals agreement. <laughs> you are complicit Dude, that is, the unholy Jew is definitely We're all in on it That's my uh, point No, but yeah, no dude, name. I really don't think that that's what happens Just because, you know, some people posted pictures of him looking like a No, but I'm saying that, like, I don't buy him being like Well, just the fact that he's so incredibly butthurt It's like, any publicity, good, good publicity It's like, you, you barely got that sentence out, champ You, you sure you're feeling good? Yep, yeah, yep yeah. Rejected that caller. He said his name. You sound pretty upset. No, no, not upset. The Raiders won this week. That's a, that's a win. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't necessarily agree with that, Canberra though. I don't think, like, any, like, I think any, in this sort of ecosystem, if your name's being talked about, mm. it's a net good. It might, like, hurt you emotionally. What about Dennis Ferguson, but... the pedophile, though? There's a point Dude, where you there's just. Like, again, Sex is different. It includes emotions. Yeah, no, he's right. He's, he's hey. ironclad. Uh, he's he's sham. Ali's thought of it all. The means of... All right, what about this? Charlie Pickering. What's what's wrong with him? Is is him being known a neck good or being talked about? No, not for society. Uh, I'm talking about for him. <laughs> for society, for society get, it's bad. I don't get the argument. So basically, 2UE wins, Jordan's a cuck. Is that the argument? Yeah, that's what. I, no, I'm saying that. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that Rich guy's side guys. whose name I don't even know. Uh, um, MLC, what do you think? <laughs> I'm just saying, if anyone is shitting on mm. you, no matter how horrible it is, um, you're gonna gain from it because your name's oh, fair being enough. About. Well, so maybe like, okay. Yeah. So, so basically, Jordan just upped that guy's profile and his. But he also care. upped Jordan's profile. It's mutual. What are you talking about? How did he up Yeah, no, I really wish that the more celebrities that I attacked, they actually fought back. Even if they burned me, I would really appreciate that. What, like a witch burning? What do you mean burn you? <laughs> well, oh, yeah, like physically a- burning might be a little too far for <laughs> saying snarky things Dude, I'm from Pakistan. Someone. You can't like... You <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's <laughs> Christ. I mean, that is the highest crime there, blasphemy. <laughs> oh, my God. Put it <laughs> at the stake. Gotta throw them from a tall building. The taller, the better. Uh-huh. And don't you reckon the version of that here is, what did you say about the Raiders? <laughs> Man, it's the closest oh, thing to blasphemy here. Probably. All right, maybe you're right. All right um, on that, even so this was like more? a legitimate segment for us. Um, you can finish off that, but can you like then continue into the brass stacking thing? Because I want to know a bit more about that. Brass brand Bra- brand stacking. stacking. Oh yeah. What uh, do you want to know In Victoria, about? first finish this thought, and then we'll get into that because I have like Here's my thought. The, the end oh, of the yeah, thought okay. is that Jordan's done more for that prawn guy than his own mum. There you go. Moving on. <sighs> oh shit, dude! You're listening to Alzheimer's, the Twitch stream. <laughs> and also, there's someone <laughs> old time right now going have early onset Alzheimer's. But go on. But when she just said, there is someone in this world going, he is right. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what? I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, he said it. I want to know like, about the bronze stacking thing. So, like, why? So, first of all, one of the things that the Liberal Party is saying that this is like exclusively a labor thing. Um, do you agree with that? Uh, can you, I'll just like quickly explain what bronze stacking is. So, um, for those of you that might not know, um, 
in Victoria, the Labour Party was like caught with the scandal by 60 Minutes, I think, where um, the membership keeps going down and those members usually pre-select who runs for seats. So they just like got fake people, as in people that had nothing to do with the Labour Party. They just got their name and paid the money on their behalf. How Sideshow Bob won the election. Yeah, or that. Just like gerrymandering? No, that's not technically, is taint, but it's a similar kind of thing, boundaries. Yeah. Oh. There's, no, there's, there's, there's no boundaries here. It's just like over representing people that aren't actually members, don't care about the Labour Party, but using their vote to get your guy in. That's the that's the scandal yeah, essentially. Okay, okay. So that was just for the context. That's just how democracy worked in ancient Rome. There Again, you go. I, There's your Rome total war. <laughs> kind of like the Simpsons thing too, right? Where it's just like the strings have to be pulled. You know that whole thing of just like. I've got the tape, I've got these files on you, and then, you know what I mean? And they managed to pass a bill. You kind of have to pull the strings a bit, right? Yeah, but I, it, it, there is also like this whole thing about, um, I don't know enough about it, but um, the Labour Party's entire base, particularly in Queensland, uh, sorry, in particularly in Victoria, is, um, is, is, is like... Like two SMs, old. Yeah, old and also like dying. Because mm. like, they're basically their entire uh, power base were the unions. And every year union numbers go down. Mm. Like I was looking at this stats today and I was telling Jordan that in the 1980 when, I don't know, like Australia's population would have been like 15 million or something. Mm. I might be wrong, but like definitely lower than what it is now, right? Um, the, popula- the, 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 the membership of the Labour Party or the union membership was around uh, 40,000. And now in 2020, it's around 38,000 when our population yeah. has grown by like 24 million. So it's um, so th- there's a, there's yeah. a problem over there. There's yeah. definitely less people that are voting in the first place. So it gives more room for people to fake numbers. Yeah. And uh, the Labour Party in uh, in in the UK sort of circumvented that and allowed uh, basically made membership easier. Mm. And what that resulted in was um, them electing Election Jeremy bosses. Corbyn. Yeah, and actually, Lou, but also, I, I, oh, I get right. that. I get that point as well. Because uh, what this does is it has a tendency to uh, to get more populist leaders in power. Right. Um, rather than like okay. good politicians or whatever. Um, yeah, so you're but right. Look, Jeremy Corbyn did thing, lose. The other, the other point but that so needs does to be is why was this released now? It's tactical. Wait, do you it's mean before the by-election? It's a tactical attack by the mainstream press. And apparently it has been happening for a long ass time. And I have, I've been, I've read Grand that. Stacking. And the fact that the liberals are saying that oh, this is only a Labour thing. That's how Malcolm Turnbull won his seat. Yeah, because Shh. the liberals all are, but, but the argument is that, look, smart people are saying, yeah, liberals, it's also there in the Liberal Party, but it's definitely more in Labour Party. But here's my counter argument to that. I don't care. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like the fact that the, the nationals get away with this rife corruption of like stealing gigaliters of water and giving it to their agribusiness donors. Rife corruption. Uh, nation destroying, town drying corruption. Where's the press on that? Mm. There was one there was one little mini story about Barnaby Joyce selling $84 million of uh, water, uh, buying back $84 million of ghost water or whatever. But this is a widespread systemic problem that has been invented by the federal and state level nationals and is very serious, particularly on a continent that is just one up from Saudi Arabia in terms of amounts of water. And there's very little press coverage on that. But all of a sudden, the biggest corruption scandal in the country is branch stacking, which why do you give a shit? You're not a member of the Labor Party. And they turn this into this massive story that hasn't not been talked about for the last two weeks. And why? Because there's the Eden Monaro by-election and the fact that Scott Morrison is 60 points ahead in the polls anyway because of their like crap reporting on COVID. Still not good enough. There can't be any chance whatsoever that the Labor Party wins that seat that's all this is Jesus. but you know what's like a the, scan i yeah it, it puts things into perspective but you know what they're saying i was reading somewhere that the inner liberal circles and even some labor labor right circles are saying that if this by-election is won by the liberal party which it seems that they might they will um by this yeah by election, come again. <laughs> There's a I'm not, new I'm Mexico like, now, Jack. I'm not going to explain everything. So, Jordan, you explain Mr. to me well, what a by election. You. This is that pedal show for Australian politics. Yeah. Realize that. Very specific jargon. <laughs> How many people know what pork barreling is? But keep going. 
Okay, so by election is essentially like you, when you have an election, you have like people that win seats and lose seats. Let's say a person, let's okay. say Malcolm uh, won uh, Wentworth, right? And then during his term, when he was in office, he f was sick or he had to resign for some reason. If he like resigns, he did. like he like he did, and so if if he resigns, um, there's you need someone to be uh, in that seat that he has moved right. away from. So that was right. what that, that election was between Dave Sharma and female Malcolm Turnbull. Yeah, right. what was her name? Oh, Karen oh. Felt. <laughs> the poor, poor chick. And the, the whole like... time I was just sitting there just like, Malcolm, be honest, you just put lipstick on. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> but also, didn't wasn't she like in office for like two months? Yes. It was horrible. So uh. bad. <laughs> Did fuck Wentworth uh. as like an electorate? Like how royally they screwed... They waited 150 years or some ridiculous amount to vote someone that wasn't liberal, voted for this chick, made history for two months and then voted for Dave Sharma again. Despite rejecting him the first despite, time. Despite right? rejecting him because they, they were warmed just, up to him. Dude, they're just like, this, I'm going to just nice say it. They're federal, federal or state? Federal, federal. Right, federal. right. Yeah, anyway, so that's a by-election. So there's a place uh, um, uh, near um, Canberra. Can't remember exactly where it is. Um, and they're Sydney. having a by-election because the guy that was... Um, that occupied the seat had to resign because he got sick. So that's what's happened. So anyway, so the, uh, the 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 inner ghost that I've been like reading about is that um, if Labour loses Aiden Monaro, uh, there's a higher likelihood that coupled with this brand stacking scandal that they're going to rework their membership scheme, like how they appoint members. Which the Liberal means Party, a Labour Party, the Labour Party, Labour Party. Yeah, which means that. Um, union power might reduce drastically in the Labour Party. Which I don't right. think is a good move. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I have a slightly different take on it, but I understand where you're coming from because... Look, dude, what happened when they made uh, becoming a member of the Labour Party in the UK better? They elected Jeremy Corbyn. People were excited about him for about six months and even then, pretty much just hipsters on campuses were excited about it. And then he lost two elections... And now the Labour Party in the UK is in a position where I don't think that they're going to win even the next election after that. I don't see where they can sure. go on the map. I don't see how they can recover their image. I think that that's the same thing will just start happening in Australia as well, where you just have these Bernie Sanders figures that have really devoted audiences. But guys, just save that for me, all right? Just, just <laughs> put all your Bernie Sanders energy into me. Give me as much money as Bernie Sanders had and elect Bill Shorten. <laughs> Yeah. How about that? Yeah. No, but that's you know? the that's the that's like the other thing because Albanese is is um is a leader that doesn't have that union hack reputation that uh, Bill Shorten had. So they're saying, and you know that, why? Why? Because he just wasn't a member of the union. Yeah, I think he was a member of the union. I, I would have to look into that again, but it's just he didn't work in the unions. It's just the press hates the unions. So anybody that is part of the unions is just like you know, ooh, Julia Gillard. What, that chick that looks like the deputy principal at my school? Yeah, union thug. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> so like entertain this thought. I'm not I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you, but in a world where like unions are slowly withering away, like I gave you that stat of like nineteen eighties to like twenty twenty, and it's reduced everywhere. Union mm. membership has reduced. Mm. The only place that um um anyway, that's a whole different thing. But so don't you think like you're headed for like election losses if you keep like doing the same like the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and that's over again? That's true, but Ali, here's my counter argument to that. I think we're headed for election losses anyway. <laughs> we're just not gonna win. Ever. <gasps> Groove on it. That's a uh, grimming thought though, but but you maybe but didn't you say but didn't you say there was a there was a situation where like there was some sort of reform passed or something by Albo that was just like basically Albo being like, oh, I can see it in the, the, the weather change. Uh, Labor is moving away from unions and we are becoming more pro-corporate. Can we get in now? Wasn't that happening? Well, he's always just trying to angle the party of the Labor Party as, to buy into Murdoch mythology of, so, I mean, Labor used to be good under Hawke, but now they're just loony left but as in that, bed with the green. But can't that, <laughs> won't that, couldn't that pass them through? I feel like Albo is in. Well, new... Albo's trying to position it like that, but look at him in the polls. It's just not going to happen. Albo, really? Albo, like, he, he, like he's, he's perfect. He is a candidate that could have won the elections, in my opinion, but dude, he got fucked over by COVID. Yeah. Like, well, but he, but the irony is that wasn't it Labor and the un unions that sort of, it was their policy that the Liberals just adopted? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, to that, quote Jake Paul, dead ain't under news. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, and also, like, dude, everyone's like, the only, unless you've like royally <laughs> fucked up with this COVID thing, um, you've like, your popularity has gone up. It's like being, every time something like that happens, so by default, your popularity goes up. Like, so if it's Trump's a war, down, right? like, yeah, like Bush winning 2004 election because they were just, People, people like support whoever is in the position. Yeah. If no, I get they that. feel yes, but like unless it's really bad, unless That's they it. royally Has fuck. Trump's support gone down because of COVID. Yes, yes, Massive. he has. Yeah. So, Massive. so like he is the one who he. he I, I'm calling it now. He'll lose the election. Right. But every prediction I've ever made is wrong. Mm. So. <laughs> Yeah, like it, it's amazing. I oh, am but, that guy in the Sims who's just been like, that is my show in of the week. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he might, he might lose, but like, but you have to like really fuck up, like he did. Who? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Trump yeah. did. Or even, so, even so, I've actually, actually I've, I've apparently heard that. Um, but pay this though, Ali. Don't you think that, look, federal labor is a lost cause for the next election, no matter what? I think yeah. that that's the case, and I think that, look, and I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing because I think on a state level they're doing better anyway and give me seven Labor states over one federal Labor government any day of the week. I think there's more power there. Right. Especially yeah. if there's seven premiers ganging up on the prime minister. More actual power. More Even in terms of, like, power. legislation too. Like how many, how many, more what's power. the ratio of Lib Labor in state now? Well, South Australia's liberal, Tasmania's liberal, Queensland will probably be liberal, but is Labor at the moment. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. Victoria is Labor. No, Victoria is... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it. The Actually, state we're in is liberal, sorry. Yeah, yeah currently... <laughs> I'm constantly Australia? pissed off about it was just reminded about the hashtag koala killer. Yeah, yeah, but like, I think, but but still, there are more Labor state governments than, uh, than liberal because New South Wales, Tassie, and yeah, South Australia. They're the lib ones. But New South Wales is a very powerful state. Yeah. New South Wales is the mo most, like, most powerful state. Obviously because of population, state, yeah. but also because of just GDP power. And just state having Sydney. Business. That's mm. that. Just if you have Sydney, you're the most powerful state. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the thing is that uh, Bob Carr, when he introduced an ETS under when he was Premier or whatever, right? That was reducing carbon emissions by itself. It's kind of got that uh, California level power. Yeah, right. Where they put in legislation and then all the other states in the US are kind of forced to move their legislation yeah. around California. Yeah. New South Wales kind of has that going right. for it. Yeah. Not to the same degree because it's just not as disproportionate as California is. But if you have a state Labor Premier in New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria... I swear there's more power there than having a, a Labor Prime Minister. Really? Well, look, there's probably going to be people that greatly disagree with me on that. but No, no, it's like, I don't think, look, I know the powers. Um, not all of them, but like, I know, look, it, they both have powers. However, you're not wrong. What actually affects you is, uh, is often state. Yeah. Okay, you want me to give you like what encompasses state, and I'm not going to go into like details. Tolls. But the general constitution of New South Wales um, uh, state is, if it falls under these categories, it's a state issue: peace, order, good governance. That's a quote from the constitution. So if you, if if any policy or anything comes under this in New South Wales, it comes under state government. Peace. Hmm. So what goes under the Federation then? Ensuring that barristers still wear those wigs. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's what is in the Constitution for feds? For Nothing, because they didn't want them to have any power to begin with. No, they do. Know. They have like so they have like defense powers, like foreign policy. Exactly, but that's all they, they had, have, right? Uh, it was post post Howard. Um, they have not the the taxes, but they have the 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 GST mechanism. So they have a few powers. Um, but most of the shit that actually affects us is state. So I agree with you. I, mm. I think almost state is more important. And also federal government almost, this is going to be a controversial opinion in front of Jordan, but I think federal government, irrespective of who is in power, are somewhat similar. It's state where the, the big differences are, I think. Because that's where like no one Maybe. notices it. So you can get like actually... Well, it's just directly affecting your life. Yeah. Quite literally, it's... Mm. it's the federal government, like maybe in like times of like war or like COVID or something where they had a much yeah. broader power, uh, most of the shit's like state. Like the, even the federal federal government has like a, like the police and shit, but like most of our day-to-day -day police interactions is with New South Wales police. And, and think about it. Mm. Think about how mutilated the press is now that 
This was a year-long sting conducted by Channel 9 in Fairfax. This is supposedly how the press can't do investigative journalism anymore because the resources aren't there. They'll muster the resources to do a year-long sting on the Andrews government. And there is a reason for that, and that is because Daniel Andrews is a popular premier and they can't see a way Mm. of knocking him off. Why is he popular? Because he's in Victoria. That's the short answer. Yeah. It's is he because like I would have because remember when uh, COVID initially, um, like around March April when shit was like everyone was going crazy. I remember there was like a lot of news stories about how people were unsatisfied with um, uh, Daniel Andrews handling it, and they thought that he was being too aggressive, which turns out not enough because like now they have this like incredible surge. Um, but I thought that that might actually lead to a lower popularity because they like so Victorians would look at like New South Wales and look at every other state and say like, well, they mm. their premiers aren't like fucking hitting them with a stick if you know go out for whatever. <laughs> but Daniel Andrews was like quite literally like it, it, he was very aggressive when it came to that. So I thought he was going to lose popularity, but turns out he's actually gaining it. Like mm. he's he's still a very popular and premier even after the spike in cases, right? Still, yeah, yeah. still he's popular and. Yeah, the the spike in cases, I don't, I don't, maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe we're looking at the wrong metrics to mm. judge popularity. I don't know. Well, look, it's all about coverage, I guess, and obviously Andrews is getting extremely negative coverage for it. But Andrews has done all the right decisions when it comes to COVID. I don't know the exact reason why it's increasing in Victoria. Muslim gatherings. That's what someone told me, but... <laughs> I yeah, I mean that's, that's probably that's right. actually that's probably actually a part Yemi's of it, but uh, it's more like it's actually more um, uh, like their Victoria's version of like um, Surrey Hills, just mm. y- like millennials spreading it. That's what I Latte like. Gatherings. There's too many people, too many young people like us who kind of don't give a fuck and are just like going about it as it was normal. That's what they're saying is causing it, but I don't. Yeah, I don't either. But it's getting pretty bad. Like, apparently they had 70-something cases today. That's fucked. That's too many. But that's good that his popularity hasn't, like, plummeted because of that. No, I think that Daniel Andrews is more or less inexpungible. And I think the only reason for that is because it's Labor heartland. I don't know why historically it always has been, but it is very difficult for the Liberal Party to grasp power in Victoria. It's interesting. Yeah. It's that cold air, isn't it? Why? Is is it just like kind of like (laughs) the Canberra tendency? Is it just like the Canberra tendency that just people over there are more progressive? Is that what it is? No, it's... Well, Canberra, the reason why is because they're more educated. Okay. Oh, Canberra's like... they Well, think about it. I mean, come on. Like, ACT always votes Labour. Queensland, Liberals. And funnily (laughs) enough, sorry... (laughs) Can I, can I like, can I just like, just make, Sad bitch. can I just tell you an interesting stat on that? <laughs> what? That, you know how you said uh, Canberra is the only place that votes Labour every time? Canberra is also the only place in the entire country that has had an increase in number of union members and members of the Labour Party mm. as opposed to every other state. You know why? Because professionalised industries are becoming more unionized yeah. and it's blue collared ones that are just being like mate i'll make a hundred grand already fuck i'm not giving out 10 bucks mm. and my negative gearing wouldn't even be worth it so they, <laughs> they don't what, so like they have what steel mills opening in canberra do they no 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 no, 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 no. it's it's bureaucrats unionizing or uh, it's uh you know like even the corporate world one of the large fastest growing unions at the moment is the financial services union so the ones of just like ceo bankers banding together <laughs> just be like we are underrepresented but either way they're, they're winning they're elections damn it they're winning elections because of it and it's it's such a modest increase too it's not even that large and that was good enough do you think that they're to... winning elections i don't think they're winning elections because of it i think it's I'm exactly that... uh, john howard identified this correctly and i think he's right he was saying that if the labor party has an electoral base anymore it's not blue collars it's bureaucrats really? that is their voting base now really yeah of course. Yeah. So what because a- they know how government works, and so they obviously know the Labor and Party also- is a government. So- Dude, all that like, okay, let's let's be real. Bureaucrats are people that have like really safe jobs. Yeah. For one, like extremely safe, safer than any other job, um, and they're they're usually paid decent. They're educated. 
the perfect like all of the right ingredients for a Labour voter, right? Yeah, they, they understand shit. So what are blue collars voting? Liberal, tradies are Trady. in huge droves. Okay. I live in a tradie suburb, and it's literally like you. There is no fucking way Labour's ever going to win. Isn't that, that just because they're just like negative gearing? Yeah. It's all these like crappy little middle class welfare what about things when, that they get. Yeah, but what about when? What, what about the blue collar workers that aren't on two hundred k a year? Like, Which ones aren't mean? these days? I'm trying to think through. Really? My well, like janitors. Well, I don't know. Like, I mean, do tradies was... make a fuckload of money in this country? Yeah, but like, who's a blue collar worker? Blue-collar? Like, so you're talking about factory workers? Those yeah, kind of, those would probably vote Labor. Yeah. But... No, it depends. It really depends where they are. What? If they are, so yeah, the, the real, if they're the real ethnic, divide now, yeah, uh, between voters, usually is earning power, and it's just that yeah. there is a lot of rich people in this country, right. Thanks to Labor's reforms in the eighties, that actually destroyed their own class. But it's also like really geographic. Huh. I was looking at the last elections, and what you, what I noticed was actually quite bizarre for me. S- Sydney and Melbourne both voted for Labor. But yeah. which and these so traditionally in Australian politics, you needed to have one of these cities in order to get yeah. your government. There was no fucking way where you could lose Melbourne and Sydney and still win the elections. Yeah. What's happening is that like the more inward into the city you come, you actually get Labour voters. The more outside the city you get, you get nationals and liberals. It's right. like really a geographic thing. Right. I, right. I, the, the that's that's what like my you know why because the nationals have had a long term strategy of imploding their own electorates. We were learning about this recently, Miss. Mm. This is their strategy. This is how evil the nationals are. You know how they're always complaining that they've got enough jobs in the bush. It's because they choke any economic activity that is happening in their electorates. Yeah, they push them so out. people are forced to move out of their electorates, only leaving old people there because they're the ones that own their houses mm. and because they're old, they're not going to move anyway. So that they have that safe seat that gets more and more national every election Jesus because there's Christ. less and less people in it. And that is a deliberate strategy of the nationals, which is why they have this super majority uh, in regional areas in Queensland is directly because of that strategy. Makes and sense. as a result of that, the nationals have a lot of bargaining power within the Liberal National Coalition, which is why even when you get someone like Malcolm Turnbull who at least believed in climate change, he still can't do anything because the nationals have the safe seats. Dude, fuck, dude. That, that, that means it's unbreakable. Yeah. Nah. Because like the trend Shh. is that it's becoming more and more national. Dude, there is one, one strategy to break it. Big Australia. <laughs> But nah, anyway. <laughs> dude, I don't think it's going to work though. I think that most but, immigrants are going to just do the same thing that Miss Love's parents did of just being like, red equals communism. No, but they, yeah. that's what, so Miss Love, you know how you were saying, what, what about blue collar workers? In fact, like if you are an immigrant and you are a blue collar worker, you are most likely voting labor. Because yeah, yeah. if you really? the, I just most of the immigrants, if you were Lebanese or Asian, no, if it's <laughs> Asian, but a, Asians Asian, are going to vote. But depends what kind of a, a lot of Asians actually end up becoming middle upper middle class. If you're like middle upper middle class, it, it, you could be like Arab, or maybe not Arab, but like definitely Asian. You're you're voting for liberals. But if you are the same ethnicity, but you earn less money. As in you are a janitor and there's like a huge population of people in this country, you know, that work 7-Elevens. These are all ethnic. They might also even have citizenships and they mostly vote labor. Mm. But if you are like slightly well off and you've, in, from Sydney's perspective, if you've moved towards the north a little bit more, um, you're like now living in Chatswood. You're that kind of like rich Asian. You are, you're voting liberal. Yeah. No, it's, it's a very interesting topic, but also... Ten more subs and we're opening up those cheetos. <laughs> yeah. What? How would that help them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> come on. Don't give touch us the them. ten subs. One more donation. Ten we can more open them up. I'm hungry. Let's do it. We yeah. also they should end see it. See how much you love me. Wait, but what about uh, this? This is this little thing we forgot about the 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 uh, you know regional areas. Shooters and fishers. They win seats. You know what? They can. Beat I their have asses. something that I'm going to officially <laughs> say here. I, for the first time in my three decades on this earth, endorsing, am admitting that I was wrong on something. What? What, what? was that? Shooters and fish. I like shooters, fishers, and farmers. Damn straight. And I especially <laughs> like the shooters part. Yeah, me too. I was wrong on that, dude. No, you know but what? I do. I, I really think you know what they are. Yeah. 
they are the Labor Party's equivalent of the National Party and they're gaining steam and that is why they're getting all these dirty Hell. tricks moved against them in yeah. the Nationals. That is the one shining beacon in this country. If you can get enough shooters, fishers and farmers candidates elected, this country transforms. But, dude, they're, they're growing. They are. Every election. Every because time. This is the other secret about the bush. Apparently, most people there hate the nationals, yeah. despise them. Because they know... But they're also stupid. Yeah. So they don't know that there's any other parties. I because really they're just like, wait, wait, you can be an MP and not have a cowboy hat? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're called the Shooters and Fishers Party. Like, just vote for them. Yeah, I know. Just for the meme. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, how good it'd be, like... If they got a majority in the, in, like, it would be. I mean, look. All jokes aside, their policies are like worlds ahead of the nationals. Their policies are basically, in, at least in terms of the environment, labor policy. Yeah, yeah. There's very well. There, there is there is key differences between what is, labor and and shooters and fishers farmers environmental policy. But I will also say that shooters fishers and farmers are instinctually because they live in the bush understand a lot more about land management yeah. than say the Labor Party does. And obviously go. like the nationals are like, I understand land management. Doesn't mean I'm gonna use it. Yeah. You know? I'll just poison the well. Yeah. Yeah. So I really think that if you are in the bush, you should be campaigning for the shooters, fishers and farmers candidate. You are never going to get a Labor candidate that elected actually in New makes England. So much yeah. sense. That yeah. that sounds horrible, but there's no fucking way that you're gonna get a Labor win in a country town. It doesn't sound horrible. Like, you, but you policies. may be able to get it for shooters, fishers. It's do, it it's not horrible. It's good. <sighs> yeah. Well, for like a purist it is. Hey, hey, you know, we've got to end this because we're over time. But also, Did just so you guys know we get the 10? that I received several texts which were saying Three. you do not over uh, waterboard anyone on the show. <laughs> oh, no waterboarding. Sorry, All guys. right, so apparently no waterboarding. <laughs> but uh, how on unfortunate. The, there but will on be the no up, game next week. But on the up, <laughs> Just pure politics next week. But on the Uplate podcast, we will waterboard. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that means you have to become a patron to find yeah. out. Yeah. Who can take the most punishment? Yeah. Who would have done better in an Iraqi prison? Ali, Miss Love, or Jordan? I, I think, think we all know the answer. answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, dude, all of those guys that are shitting on me saying that the game was bad. The game wasn't bad. <laughs> I was triggered every like, time. Jesus, like, I spent almost 45 minutes. Uh, Ali, we can both agree. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. Thank you for tuning in. How many <laughs> subs did we get? Did we get close to opening up the Cheetos? Ten? Hey, boys, 10 subs? <laughs> yes! Oh, hey, really? Lying. Def- no, 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 he wasn't lying at all. Open up the Cheetos in celebration. See you next week, guys. <laughs> 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 Yay! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>